Hey YouTube, welcome back to my new video. Today I wanted to talk about the 15th anniversary of the Nintendo DS. It's crazy, right? 15 years. I was on Twitter earlier this week and I noticed that Nintendo was, um, you know, basically they tweeted out something about the 15th anniversary of the DS and it totally blew my mind. Mind blown, I'm telling you. I can't believe it's been that long. Uh, the DS was released in North America on November 21st, 2004. It's crazy. I was there, not day one, but I definitely was there early on. Uh, and it's kind of funny just because um, I purchased a DS. I don't think I got it at launch, but I, I did get it pretty early on. And I'm super excited because, I mean, I've loved the Game Boy, loved the Game Boy Advance. Like, I'm all about that handheld life, right? And I purchased the DS and I'm like, yes, you know, Nintendo's looking out. We're going to have some amazing games. And uh, I got Super Mario Brothers 64 DS with my console or my handheld. And I was really stoked to play that because I had never played that game. I didn't have a Nintendo 64. None of my friends had a Nintendo 64, um, you know, when it came out. Everyone was all about that PlayStation, you know. Um, we were teenagers, we were like, whatever, I'm not doing As much as I love Mario and Zelda, I was like, whatever, that's, for, that's some kiddie stuff, right? So it was all about PlayStation. Um, so I was excited to get my hands on uh, Super Mario 64 DS. And I bring it home and the controls were crap like i don't know how anyone can play that game on a ds but i just could not rack my brain around it i was so disappointed and then it, it felt like no games were coming out for the ds right so i got rid of my ds i want to say maybe two months later um i just wasn't feeling the games that were out at launch you know i just wasn't feeling it um it was maybe two or three months that I got rid of it or I might have sold it. I don't know. I might have traded it in or sold it. But regardless, I got rid of it. And um, that's partly because I love, like I said, the Game Boy Advance so much. I was like, man, you know, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work with the dual screens and everything. And just like there's no games for it. And I was just content with playing my Game Boy Advance, honestly. And then um, I was reading like gaming magazines and I had saw some previews for some really cool games, which are in this stack. Um, and I was like, okay, you know, in 2005, like months later, I went ahead and I purchased another DS and I've been a lover ever since. So I am going to share with you guys my 10 favorite games and there's definitely more. Um, 10 of my favorite games for the DS. So first up, and these are in no particular order because I'm not going to sit here and rack my, my brain over what order these games go in. Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective. Oh, man, this is, you know, this was one of the first games that came to mind um, when I sat down to do this just because this game is so unique. I mean, it's an adventure game, right? Which, I mean, that's pretty common. But the way in which the story is conveyed and just like the gameplay um you play as this ghost and basically you're maneuvering and manipulating the world by possessing things which is crazy right really good game fantastic characters music is good oh my gosh um the writing is amazing like really cool dialogue in the game um just a standout for the ds you know i mean i think it's even on ipad as well but just a standout game for the the handheld trauma center under the knife uh as i mentioned earlier i saw previews for a couple of games that made me want to go back and give the ds a second chance and this was one of the games that uh i saw in the gaming magazine i was like huh that sounds interesting um it has this whole basically the gist of it is is you play as a doctor and you're basically you know going through surgery and 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 doing all types of crazy things um you know fixing broken bones and things of that nature but there's a time limit which really I remember that for sure and it freaked me out because you have to make sure that you're precise and you don't run out of time or else game over <laughs> and the patient's dead um but yeah there are a few of the games a, a few of these games in uh the series and I kind of 
wish that they would bring it out on the switch i mean it probably wouldn't even work just because you know there's no stylus i mean i guess you could technically use a stylus but you know whatever um i miss these games i i had a blast with these games there's some on the wii as well is there one on the wii i think there's one on the wii u um really good games spent a lot of time with those trying to act like i'm a doctor over here this is another standout title for me hotel desk room 215 this is probably the first game that got me into visual novels and I'm not like super into visual novels. I mean, I love visual novels, but I'm not like hardcore into them. Um, but this one's really cool. It's like a murder mystery. I love the way, I just love the art style of this game. Uh, really cool, black and white, noir type of vibe to it. Um, you play the DS in a different way. Instead of playing it like this, you flip it and you play it as if it's like a book. Or you hold it as if it's like a book, which was definitely uh, something new. Um, just a really good game. Really good time with this one. Um, I know there is, I don't know if there is a sequel, but I don't know if it came out. I don't know. There's just this whole universe of like Kyle Hyde. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the dude. Yeah, his name is Kyle Hyde. Um, he's roaming around there, you know, all over on the DS, 3DS, all over the place. Elite Beat Agents, boy, I love me some rhythm games and this is definitely the cream of the crop. Um, I can't play this game without smiling. It's just like, just so sweet. It's awesome. Um, I love the art style. It's like comic book um, art style and you basically play as these three, if you guys can see, security guards. Um, great music and it's just so simplistic. You know, it's a matter of tapping, right time, but you got to have rhythm, right? It's a rhythm game, you know, um, and it gets rough. But boy, I love the little vignettes that these games have. I mean, it's just a great, it's a great time. What's up with all the rhythm games? You know, we're lacking rhythm games this generation. Henry Hatsworth and oh, I was going to say in the puzzling adventure. Yeah, that's what it is. Henry Hatsworth in the puzzling adventure. Boy, oh boy. If you know me, I you know, I love me a good puzzle game, right? Henry Hatsworth. I, I, this was it was either going to be Henry Hatsworth or Tetris DS and this one won the fight. Henry Hatsworth is great, boy. I, I I put it on here just because, I mean, we all know Tetris, right? I love Tetris, love different iterations of it, but this is just totally different. This is basically um, a side-scrolling game up on the top screen and on the bottom screen, and you know, you're doing like Bejeweled. It's crazy, right? Can you even wrap your brain around that? Because that's how I felt when I got it. When I played it, I'm like, what? But it's really good. Super sweet. I had a lot of fun with that one. This started my obsession for P-Cross games. P-Cross DS. Whew. Many of hours went into this game. Yeah, I could have put P-Cross 3D on here. But you know what? This is where, this is, this is where it all started. Basically, they're, um, they're picture puzzles. Uh, I don't know what the technical term is. Nanograms, I think they might be called. Um, if you don't know what P-Cross is, definitely look it up. Uh, you know, you're basically, it's like a numbers game. You're, you know, uh, you're um, filling in boxes, you know what I'm saying, to reveal a picture. That's simple, but oh, so fun. Uh, just remember countless hours of laying in bed or wherever I was and playing this game and I still play games in the series I love them Dragon Quest 9 Sentinels of the Starry Skies oh I boy oh boy this brings me back to the beginning of my YouTube days um I think this came out around the time that I started my YouTube channel, it might have been 2009, maybe 2010, that might be pushing it. But this was my first Dragon Quest game and it was a doozy. Boy, I tell you, I don't even know, do people consider this like a traditional Dragon Quest game? Because you're, you, you customize your character, right? Like, and it's just, I don't know, this makes me wanna go back and play it. I'm currently playing Dragon Quest XI now and I'm like in love. Um, but this makes me wanna go back and play it. Dragon Quest IX, I, 
I had a blast with it. And then they also, the cool thing about this game is that there were like community events. I remember going to Best Buy and actually this might, I think it's still up on my channel. I did like, they, they would have like special events at like GameStop or like Best Buy and you could go in, bring your DS, right? And um, you could like go through uh, like dungeons and stuff and meet up with other people. Had a blast doing that. I've done it twice, once at Best Buy, once at GameStop. Um, it's just a really good game. Good music, looks great. Lots and lots of hours spent in that one. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Oh boy. Um, again, this is where my love for visual novels started, you know? Um, it definitely started on the DS because that's where, um, <laughs> that's where I spent a lot of time reading, uh, through these games. I don't know what to say about Phoenix Wright that you might not already know. Uh, fantastic character. One of my favorite video game characters. He's awesome. Um, and the characters, not only Phoenix Wright, but the characters in the games are awesome as well. There are a few standouts, guys. Uh, great characters, great character development, um, cool cases. Uh, it's You basically play as an attorney and you're, you know, basically out there you know uh doing your detective you putting on your detective hat and you're investigating um murder scenes and all types of stuff and then you take it into the courtroom and you're yelling objection um on your microphone it's great definitely uh, different it was definitely different and outside the box and that's probably one of the reasons why i love that series so much Castlevania, Dawn of Sorrow. Boy, I tell you, I love these DS Castlevania games. I honestly need to go and play the the um, GBA ones because I've ne I have them, but I've never played them, and they're probably tough as nails. But Dawn of Sorrow was so good. Portrait of Ruin was good too. I have not played Order of Ecclesia fight me I haven't played it actually I have played it but I got to like the spider boss and it kicked my ass and I never went back but you know what one of these days I'm gonna go back and beat it I promise you Donosaurus was cool um it actually you know it's a Castlevania game you know the whole Metroid mania thing going on there um but I thought it was pretty cool because you know, you would get up to these doors or parts of the games and you would have to like, you know, trace out symbols and stuff like that in order to make doors open. I mean, it was it was different. It was unique. Was it a little gimmicky? Yeah, just a bit, but a really good game and a start of a, a trilogy on the DS that, you know, you definitely can't beat. They're great games. At least the first and the second one are. I'm sure Ecclesia is great too. It's just like that spider. I couldn't get past it. Last game. Come on. Animal Crossing, Wild World. Oh boy. You want to talk about staying up at all hours of the night or waking up at all hours of the night to play this game just so you can fill out your museum by catching like certain fish and bugs. Yeah, that was me. That was me. This is where the obsession started with Animal Crossing. All right, this is where it began. And it was pretty cool because, you know, I had a whole online aspect to it where you could like open up your gates and stuff, you trade your fruit. Could you trade fruit in this one? I feel like you could. I don't know, I don't remember. But I remember it definitely had an online aspect to it. And it was just great. I mean, it's Animal Crossing, man. I never played the original Animal Crossing on the GameCube. So this is my first time um playing this you know this series and uh i was just blown away i'm like i love the sims this is basically the sims but with like, animals you know what i'm saying this is basically what it was and it was fantastic and boy i can't wait for the new animal crossing game to come out it's only a matter of months before it drops so excited then I'll, it's like a cycle. Then I'll be doing it all over again, right? I'll be staying up at all until whatever hours of the night to catch those bugs and fish to fill out mu my museum or waking up at crazy hours to do it. I mean, you know, gotta do whatever you can for Animal Crossing, right? 
So that's it guys. Those are 10 of my favorite games for the Nintendo DS. I could have easily added 10 more. So many great games, such a variety of games on the system, different genres, just like really great stuff on the DS. Please guys, let me know what are some of your favorite games on the Nintendo DS. Please share with me down below. Let me know what's up. I want to thank all of you for watching this video and I'll check you next time.